Hello and welcome back to Oxide Room 104. Thank you very much for your likes, your comments, your support on the previous video. It really does mean the world to me. But here we are in room 203, wondering how I can possibly get up this ladder. I think if I get rid of this, I should be able to go to room 303. I could, of course, go through the hatch and go into room 202. Maybe the bathroom of 202 if I go over there. But what I've done is I've gone back down to the storage room. I've dropped off a couple of items. I've freed up some slots. And I should be able to pick up the moving jerry can. Wasn't it there before? I swear it was there before. Anyway, right, there you go. So we've got this jerry can. It's gasoline, a tank full of gasoline. Interesting. Okay. Maybe I had the right idea last time. Do we burn this sucker? Come on. I wonder if I could climb that ladder. Oh, I think you could. In some way, shape, or form. What about if we use this? Ah, now that works. Okay. We used all of it up. Now, I've still got those matches, haven't I? No, <laughs> Whoa. Was it the tentacles at the bottom of the ladder that were screaming there? What the fuck? Okay. Alright, let's see. Yeah, now I can climb the ladder and I can head up to 303, the third floor. But first things first, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to climb through this hatch and enter 202. Yeah, let's go through. We've actually got the key to this place, so this is kind of unnecessary, but still. Yeah, here we are in the bathroom. It sounds like we're not alone. Okay. I still keep looking at boxes thinking, oh, they're storage, aren't they? Is there anything in here? Got some toilet roll? Toilet paper. Fluffy, but kind of dirty. Ah, there we go. Some bullets. Sounds like I might need to use them as well. Nothing down the toilet? Nothing in the bath? No more clue giving rubber ducks? No? Okay. Uh, alright. Can we open this? No. However, I think I do have a few bathroom keys with me. There you go. Right. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? Oh, 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 shit! Oh, now this... This is gonna be an issue. Right. I think this is where the body horror comes in. Yeah. It looks like you've met Eva. She's quite the hunter. Oh? She loves the smell of blood. Be honest, I don't expect much of you. For your own sake, can't you do better? How is it that you get the smallest scratch and you bleed to death? And then we have to start everything from the beginning. Right. I know you're useless, but at least try to not make it so noticeable. Try harder next time. Well, let's get to work. As with any research, if you repeat the same experiment without changing any of the variables, you'll most likely get the same results. So, let's make some modifications. Modifications? Don't worry. I only feel a small pinch. I somehow doubt that. Oh, yeah. That's a small pinch, all right. Jesus. Okay. Definitely inspired by Saw. Right. So what he said about starting over from the beginning, based on what I read in the comments, yeah, that might be the case. Oh, fucking hell. Right. You guys weren't lying. You have to start it all over again. Right, well that explains the bandage on my leg. Where am I? Yeah, we've gone back to the very beginning. My head! Because I read those comments, I have prepared for this. I did back up my saves, but... Right. Have I truly lost all my progress? Shit. If so, that sucks. Okay. Alright, it's not quite the same as it was in the beginning. We've got a bathtub full of blood now. I'm not going back in there. No, no. Right. Um, okay. Oh, I've got to find my clothes. Oh, right, I'm naked again. And, uh, oh, here they are. Okay. My clothes. So it's a little bit different. 
Hmm. I will probably go back to my old save, quite honestly, but I just want to see, like, exactly how this works. Like, every time you die, you have to go back to the beginning. Okay. There's the chest again, right? I've lost all my inventory items. Wait, the storage? Everything's gone. Wow. So I'm gonna find the key down here again, right? Looks like there's something shiny at the bottom. Wow, okay, yeah. I uh, don't know how I feel about that. That's that's really quite harsh. So you can't afford to make any mistakes. And what's this small key? <sighs> okay, so can we just leave? Okay, oh, right. Maybe the doors are unlocked. So we don't have to go and search for all those oh, keys shit. again. Yeah. What the hell? It's locked. No, this one is in fact locked. We have to pick up the flashlight again. But there's no key. Things are different. Alright, what's inside the chest? Oh, this time it's a lockpick. Right. Because I've looked all around this room, I can't find anything to do with the key. It's got to be in here, instead of the salt, right? It's locked. So, we open that with the lockpick. And there's the key for 104. Okay, so yeah, we have to do everything again, but it is slightly different. Thing is, if I do it like this, I'm not going to get the proper ending. To get the proper ending, you can't die even once. So yeah, I've backed up my save, and I'm going to go back to that save. Because this never happened, right? That never happened. Keep those secrets, okay? <laughs> right, so going into 202 and shooting the creature was a massive, massive mistake. I'm not going to do that again. That's going to get me killed. What I might try and do is approach 202 from the front door. I've got the key for it, so let's just go get it, unlock the door, and let's see what lies on the other side. Maybe I can just avoid the monster this time instead of shooting it. I don't know what happened precisely. Was it like a was it a gas leak or something like that? I have to get to the entrance of the motel. Right. Right, okay. That's a warning, isn't it? That's a warning. I'm not gonna fire my gun in there. No. Right, let's go get the key and let's get inside the proper way. Okay, here we are at the front door. So let's use the key this time, shall we? But yeah, I don't think I want to shoot my revolver here. We're just going to have to avoid the monster that lives inside. Right. Okay. This is a little bit different. Oh, is it sectioned off? Oh, not completely. I can go around. What the fuck is this? An electric chair? I wouldn't want to be sitting there. Wow. All right. Okay. So let's see. What do we got here? It looks like some kind of liquor. Everything looks like liquor to you. <laughs> ah, okay. What is happening to me? Why am I feeling this? There's so much hate in me. Well, you are called evil. Another bandage? That's not going to help if I fire my gun, is it? Looks like there's some more gasoline over there. Right, you're going to be an issue, aren't you? It's an oxygen cylinder. Right. Nothing that I can take with me, though? Ooh, fuck. Alright. Do I try and slip on by? I don't know. Is it worth it? I'm just looking for things over there. I don't see anything that noteworthy, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, there might be something over there. I think that's a document. Hmm. To be honest, I would like to know all I can about this place. Could oh, where are you going? Where? Okay. I'm gonna see if I could maybe unlock this door from this side. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit, right. Go through, go through. <laughs> I was spotted. I was spotted. But I'm going to get in there, and I'm going to see if I can have a look at that document, okay? You're not going to come rushing around the corner? Right, I'll take the bullets this time. Just this time I won't use them. Oh, 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 oh. Please go away. Go check out that area. I want to see what's on that document. I want to find out more about this place. And what's the guy in the orange jumpsuit doing? Soaring my leg off when I get hurt. Like, where the fuck were we as well? That wasn't the same bathtub as 104. I've got quite a lot of questions, and I think the documents are 
are going to help me answer them. Oh man, you're just going to get in the way now, aren't you? Shit. That's it, that's it. Go that way. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so what we got here? People are leaving the motel. They're scared, they're terrified, and they can only think of getting out of this place. Right, okay. I'm just going to skim the rest of it because it's on the way back. Okay, right. I think I'm done with 202. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Let's use the ladder. Now that we've burnt those weird tentacles at the bottom, we should be able to go up to 303, right? So let's do that. Oh boy. I wonder if I could climb that ladder. I'm going to be so nervous using my revolver now. Right, let's climb up. I am so glad I read the comments saying that, you know, if you die once, that's it. I'm so glad I backed up my saves, so thank you very much. This, this is the importance of the comment section, really. Alright. Locked again. How do you know? Can you tell just by looking at a door? I'm somewhat impressed, honestly. But he's right. It's locked. He is right, okay. But right, this is 303. This is our first experience of the third floor. Bolt cutters? Uh, no, it's a blacksmith tool, actually. It looks like a useful tool for grabbing things. Not unlike the hook from earlier. All right. Okay, well, let's see. What we got? Anything interesting? Another document. There you go. Am I a victim? It's always been that way. I'm the victim. My stepfather would tell me again and again, it's your fault, it's your fault. But it's not true. I was always the victim. He had no right to do what he did to me. He had no right. I was a victim. Like now. Hmm. Yeah, okay. You may have been a victim in the past, Matt, but you're up to some shady shit. You and Josh. I can't help but feel this is some sort of punishment, right? Hmm. Okay, what we got here? Anything useful? Nothing in the bucket? It's a pretty dirty construction bucket. Yeah. Got a document here. There's no way back anymore. Now I belong to him. Why is this happening to me? I liked living. I liked exploring. I liked creating stories and feeling like I was a part of them. I like writing. But why can I only think of dying now? I want to die. Why can't I get out of here? It seems like evil is the oh, presence. Locked again. Evil's kind of like the, the monsters here. They just sort of bring you down and everyone... Everyone kind of wants to end their lives. Wow, hit the jackpot here. Is that... There's three keys, I think. So we got 305, 301. I can't carry anything else. For fuck's sake, right. Okay. Is this... Okay, it is storage. Brilliant, okay. Uh, so 305, 301. Uh, let's store those. At least for now. And then there's this one. Which is for this door, I think. So what's going on? Is it a case? It's inside a block. It's a block of something hard and see-through. I can see a key inside. And it's the key to this door. It's not going to work, is it? I don't think that's going to work. No, okay. Uh, maybe I can combine it with something? These? No? Okay. <laughs> Well, I guess we got to get the key out of the block somehow, haven't we? Right, so, in here? Let's see. A working light. Amazing. Oh, brilliant. There you go. That replaces the bathroom key that I used up downstairs. No cabinet, nothing on the shelf. Uh, no. Interesting. That's the first time I've been able to use a bathtub since the very beginning. Uh... The top is now full of water. It is. But it's not for you, is it? Uh, maybe the water's going to sort of get rid of the block? Let's see. Alright. Yeah. We'll just have to wait here. We'll have to find a way out. For a long, long time, won't we? Hmm. Okay. Right, there's there's got to be something else around here. What's that? Oh. Oh, okay. What's this? It's a uh, solvent. Some kind of strong acid. Interesting. Uh, well, uh, uh, hang on, right, okay, maybe it's not just merely water, right? Maybe I add the solvent to it? That's it. The object's been used up, but the block has dissolved. Right, um... Hmm. The 
the acid mixed with water. Right, yeah, that that can't go well if I pick that up, right? That's just gonna... Well, that's probably gonna kill me again, quite honestly. And to be honest, I don't want to get another body part sawed off of me. Uh, so, I, I picked up the blacksmith tool. Right. Cool. I hope it still works. Okay. That was a, a pretty simple puzzle. Everything was kind of contained into this one room. So, we have a working 303 key? Let's see. Yeah, seems like it's working. Okay. So this is going to give us access to the courtyard from the third floor. And right, I probably should have picked up the other keys, actually. Here we are, then. I hope I can get in the motel from this floor. Yeah, me too. Oh, hello. How you doing? Eva, right? There's 301. Ah, oh, there's always something, isn't there? Right. Um... Yeah. Is that, uh... Yeah, that, that blacksmith tool is just gone now. Kinda wish there were bolt cutters. Right. Okay, so I've got the key for 301, and I think I have the key for 305 as well, don't I? She's just gone. Right, but, but she's beyond that gate. I need to go that way, don't I? Uh, so let's see. There's 305. 304 and 302 don't seem to be accessible. Something around here? Uh, yes, actually, there's a document on the floor. The more the merrier. Responsible for the others? We're all adults. Everyone can decide what to do with their lives and be responsible for their actions. I've always been alone and I always will be. I'll never answer for what the others do. I'll never do anything that doesn't benefit me. All of them deserve to be dead. You sound like a swell guy, Matt. You sound like a swell guy. Yeah. Right. I don't think there's anything else here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up a load of these bullets. Go back into 303, pick up those keys, and we'll go check out those rooms. Yeah. Okay, here we are, 301. I've got the key for this now. So there you go. Right. I'm not seeing any symbol on the door, so I can probably shoot my gun in here, right? Or at least I hope so. I just got a load of bullets, I'll probably need to use them. Okay. Well, this is a little bit different, I haven't seen a room quite like this before. It's a small wooden box. So it is. Can we not open these drawers? No. What is this doing here? Oh boy. <laughs> what happened in this room? What's that? It looks like a human organ. Wonderful. Seriously, what the fuck is going on in this place? Okay, we've got a few drawers here. Let's see what we find. I know where I am. I know who I am. But the most important... I know who you are, and soon, I'll know how to find you. Evil. Right. Hmm. Okay, some more bullets in here. Nothing. More bullets. Right, okay. There's definitely going to be some combat, right? I'm not going to blow up this time. I don't know where I am or what this place is. It's dark. Very dark. Why? He says that I'm special, but it hurts me so much. I'm very scared. The pain is destroying me. I'm being ripped open, and I can't do anything to stop it. I really wish I could help. She always seems to be a little bit too far away, though, doesn't she? It's locked. I don't think it can be opened. Bit of a strange detail. Hmm. Got this massive fridge, and I can't open it. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, let's have a look at the bathroom. Of course, it's locked, but that's okay because I've got a, a few spare keys. There you go. Oh! Oh. There you go, five bullets. That's why I was picking up all those rounds. Wow. Okay, so... Just the one? Just the one. Oh. Oh, hang on. Are they actually bolt cutters? They are bolt cutters! Perfect to cut metal chains! What about thick padlocks on gates? Maybe, right? Maybe. Nothing down the toilet. What is that, a plunger? It's an empty bucket. It is indeed. Okay. Nothing there, no medicine. Right, was it just for the bolt cutters? I think it was. 
And to be honest, that's okay. It's not working. No, it is not. Um, right. I'm just looking around for any more little details that I may have missed. But I think we kind of covered this room. So, yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave and I'm going to see if I can use those bolt cutters on that padlock. Maybe that's the way I go through the gate. So close, I have to go on. Well, maybe the bolt cutters can help. They can indeed! Right. But I haven't actually gone to 305 yet, so... Right. Eva, whoever you are, hold on! <laughs> I know you're very distressed and I do want to help you, but first things first, let's take a look at this room, shall we? It's locked. No, it's not. Check again. Okay, again, no symbol on the door, so should be okay to use my gun. I'm wondering when I'm going to have to use the gas mask. I guess there's going to be another gas leak in one of the rooms. Alright. Got mannequins. It was just a matter of time, wasn't it, really? More bullets. Okay. There is nothing interesting in this book. Okay. There is nothing interesting in this book. I assume you'll say that about that as well. And the cans, no. What's that? Hmm. Hey there. Examine, yeah. Push? It's too far from the piano. Nice. Well, it seems like I need to push, but for whatever reason, I can't. You're not chained down to the floor or anything. What about this one? It looks like if it was holding an instrument. Ah, right. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Um, I don't have anything that's really going to fit the bill. Would you like my revolver? In fact, no. Let's not give mannequins guns. Jeez. Alright. There isn't any score on the music stand. Okay, so you're missing an instrument. You're too far away from the piano and, and there's no, like, score to read from. It's a metal figure of a turtle. I keep seeing these little guys. Okay. Was the suffering of many people your fault? My fault? That's not true. I would never do anything to hurt anyone, and if I did, I'm sure they had it coming. My hands are clean. Like how I cleaned out the wallets of many of my clients. I would never do something like that. Why can't I stop thinking about this? Because evil, I think, is getting into your mind. That's my theory anyway. Yeah. Okay. Ah, an instrument? A violin? Right, okay. Well, presumably the violin goes over here. And hopefully this isn't going to kill me. Let's see. Okay. Would you like a bow as well? Hmm. Alright, so I, I guess we're maybe looking for a score as well. Let's have a little look, shall we? Okay. Okay, there's a, there's a lockpick. Nice finds. Nothing else in the box. Nope. Okay, well I did get a bathroom key, so maybe there's going to be something important in this bathroom. Let's see. <laughs> I was backing away there expecting to get jumped by a monster, but no, it didn't happen. Alright. Ah! Would that be the sheet music? The musical score, there you go. It doesn't include the title of the piece. That's all right. So if I put that there... Okay. Another fairly simple puzzle by the looks of it. Anything in the cabinet? No. It's always nice to get more bandages and antidotes. And more documents! I have control of the facilities. Fucking orange clown. You will suffer. You will suffer so much. And that's from evil. Because of course it is. You can really tell, can't you? Okay, nothing down there. No, okay. Not having too much luck with the drawers up here. Alright. Well, we just need to sort you out, don't we? Oh, I can! Now, right. Okay, now that there's the score and the violins in the mannequin's hand, now I can push you closer to the piano. Alright. Now it looks ready to play. Yes, it does. Do it. Ooh. Okay. 
It's an interesting looking key. It looks like the key to an old padlock. Right. Well, I've just dealt with an old padlock, but I guess I'll keep it on me just in case there's another one. Is that it? Didn't hear much of the violin, probably because I didn't get you your bow, right? <laughs> uh, are we done? It's a bottle of milk. Oof. It smells bad. I bet it does. That's a horrible smell. Um, yeah, I think we might be, to be honest. Yeah, as I said, a, a fairly simple puzzle. All things considered, and everything is contained in this one room, so... You don't really need to go too far to solve it. Alright. I guess we're going through that gate. I am actually wondering if that key was for that padlock. Of course, we used the bolt cutters, but maybe we didn't need to. I'm so close, I have to go on. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, let's go on and let's follow the sound of whimpering and crying. She's probably not too far away, right? Is that all blocked? It, oh, okay. Interesting. She wasn't too far away at all. I can't stop for a beverage. No. Uh, now's not really the time, is it? Hang on. So, this would... Right. I would be... Right there. This would connect to the stairs. Huh. Okay, hang on. I don't know if I can go any further, actually. Right, well, let's hope that I can get through this door, because if not, we're in trouble. Okay. Slide it. Yeah! I think this is the stairwell. Alright. Well, this is right next to the entrance as well. Maybe this is how I get out. I can almost see the exit. Yeah, almost. Should be down those stairs. Right. Oh. Sounds like I'm not alone. It wasn't you, was it? Right. Got a few more bullets here. Okay. Right. Let's go and confront another one of these monsters, and hopefully I don't blow up. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Alright. Please don't corner me. Okay. I'm almost out of here. Almost, right? Just a few more stairs to go down. Was it just the one? I think it may have been just the one. Let's see. Anything over here? It's a children's toy. Somewhat old. And another document. How many more people will suffer because of you? This is my punishment. Was what I did so bad to bring me to this point? Am I paying for what I did to every person that crossed my path? Am I paying the debt of all the money I stole from them? No. I will never admit it. Why am I always the bad guy? I only did what was best for me. Is that a crime? I hate everyone and everything. Why am I thinking about these things? This isn't me. Someone help me. Yeah, it's the place getting to you, isn't it? Okay, another bandage. More rounds. Okay, I guess there's going to be more threats up ahead. Down the other set of stairs. And then, right. That might be the way out. What about those kidnapped girls? I don't know anything about those damn girls. And the kidnapped girls? Fuck. And the kidnapped girls? It's like this voice in my head just keeps asking me these questions. It just keeps on digging and digging. God damn it. I know that Josh would bring them to the old motel and make those videos, but I don't know anything else. I only handled selling the videos and monetizing them in underground markets. I never had anything to do with what Josh did, and I never knew what was going on with the girls. I was just a pawn. A damn nobody of a pawn. I'm almost out of here. Yeah, but the more I read, the more I think that you shouldn't be. Alright, here we are. Back on the ground floor. Is that... Okay, there's another document here. We're finding quite a lot of them. If you're reading this, I'm giving you the chance to escape from here. I can't leave Oxide now. I'm part of the whole. But you? Run. And use your life for something better. Use this second chance. And who knows? Maybe someday you can give me back the freedom that today I'm giving you. Hmm. Alright. I suppose she was leading me to the exit, wasn't she? And there she is. If it's a choice between escape and a toilet, obviously I'm going to choose the toilet. So, let's see. 
All right, I'm still picking up bandages and stuff like that, so we're not making a quick escape, are we? I only feel pain. The only thing I do is remember that motel. The days that I experienced before this. The same time and place again and again. I can see myself exploring and walking through its rundown hallways, as if none of this had happened. Although the motel then felt like a prison to me, now I think I miss it. Hmm. Alright. She's still there, she hasn't disappeared. I oh. Okay. My head. Ah, uh, what is it now? Wait. Oh dear. Oh. Oh. Was that Eva screaming? I I don't know, maybe someone burnt another ladder. Oh. Shit. I can't get to the exit. Right. I should follow that girl. Yeah, you probably should. You probably should. Okay. Is it safe to shoot? Because I want to shoot that thing. Okay. Is it... Okay. I think it's dead? It seems like it's dead. And I didn't blow up. Well, hey. Right, she's over there waiting for me. But of course, there's some more reading to do first. Why is he doing this to me? What does he want from me? I feel my soul becoming dark and cruel. How I'm being split in two. How anger and pain are consuming me. But you know what? While you might be laughing at me, I like to write. I hope that at least I don't lose this since it's the only thing keeping me who I am. The only thing guiding me to a bit of light in this sea of darkness. The only thing that shows my kindness and the true me. Right. So is evil like her split personality? I have to find a way out. Uh, don't really know. I feel as if my body and my mind are expanding. Pain is now pleasure. Pleasure to seek revenge. Pleasure to destroy everything. Alright. I think we're done with this area, right? And it seems to be safe out there. I see some more tentacles. Um, maybe I'll need to find some more gasoline. I don't know. Oh, what the fu- Okay, there's no going back. Wow, okay, well let's hope I didn't leave anything behind. She's disappeared again. Right, so this is bricked up too. I can't go through. Damn. Right. Got a baseball, there's a bat. A phone? Can I use the phone? I don't even want to try. It's like I know I'm condemned. I know it's not going to work. In here then. Sort of a dining room. Oh, come on. This is becoming a habit now. And yeah, I can't go back. Well, I guess I've got to go through here, haven't I? Looks like the same thing as on the ladder in room 203. You're right. Can I deal with it in the same way? Am I a bad person? I could have done something. I could have stopped those girls from suffering. What have I become? I deserve this. If I could escape from this nightmare, I really do want to get out. Do I deserve it? I think I've lost my mind. Although I may have lost control a long time ago. Long before any of this began. It may be too late for me. Right. The guy in the orange jumpsuit, it may be if I get out of the restaurant. I, I think he found out what I was doing and he's, he's using this motel to punish me. What's that? What did I just pick up there? A dish towel stained with oil. Okay, interesting. Um, alright. I can't carry anything else. Ah. Now that is going to be an issue, isn't it? Wait, is that? That could be storage. Okay, it is storage, thankfully. Ah, uh, the metal key, I really don't know where that gets used. In fact, we may have already bypassed where it used to get used. Um, I'll put away the lockpick as well. Right, so I'm going to want this, aren't I? Alright, and that is what? Okay, there's some alcohol, some strong liquid in it. Nice. Combine. Yes! We've just made ourselves a Molotov cocktail. I hope it works. Me too. Me too. Alright. There's a document over here though. I can see everything and everyone. The motel. Now it's part of me. Every wall. Every window. I can feel it. Mm. Let's use the Molotov cocktail over here. And let's see if we can go through this door. I don't think that's going to work. No? 
Uh, maybe because it's not lit. Is that why there's a fire here? Maybe it might uh, be part of the restaurant. Let's see. Oh shit! Fuck. Oh no. Okay, that was that was a mistake. That was definitely a mistake. Right, I've got eight bandages. Use them. There you go. Okay. I have to find another way out. Right. Okay. I really did think I had to just light the Molotov cocktail. Okay. What's this? A jar full of honey. Well, it says marmalade, but I believe you. Uh. All right. No key hanging off you or your antlers. No. Oh, hang on. Oh, for fuck's sake. I put my hands in the fire when I could have just picked up a lighter. There it is. It's perfectly ordinary. So, combine? Now it's lit. Right, let's try this again, shall we? That's more like it. No screams this time? No? Alright. Uh... Looks like some kind of liquor. Looks like some kind of liquor. There's a lot of that around here, by the looks of it. Nothing else is sort of jumping out at me. Um, I don't know if I want to add anything more to storage. i got three free slots. That's pretty good. Um, yeah. Right, let's go through. Where is this going to take me, exactly? Let's take a look at the map. Hmm, okay. Well, I suppose we're going to... Like the terrace or kitchen area next or something? Let's see. Right. Ah, so close to freedom. And yet so far. Bloody barbed wire. I might be able to climb over there. I don't want to. <laughs> right. Let's see. Maybe if I get out of the restaurant. Fucking circus clown dressed in orange. I have control of your life. <laughs> I will consume your body. Assimilation. Sooner or later, you will be assimilated. Evil wants to assimilate all. Okay. We're going back through here. Alright, well we're not going back that way, are we? Through here? Into the kitchen. What? Wait. Oh! Oh, hello! Shit! <laughs> Haven't seen you in a while. Oh. Ooh. Oh, boy. Does it not know where I am? Okay. Uh -oh. Hey, oh, hello. Is this not a QTE? Because it really feels like it should be. Guess not. Right. What are we doing here? Sneaking through the bench. Oh. How, Shit! How fucking dumb is that monster? Seriously. How can you lose me and allow me to climb in here? Oh, okay, okay, now it is a QTE. Shift, right. Uh, oh! Oh shit, okay, right. Spook me. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think, yeah, I think it was good that I stopped there, right. Okay, what about this one? Hey, uh, Yeah, I think I can see it shaking the grate on the other side. Keep on going, come on. There's that screaming again. Right. Not this time? Not this time. Okay, right. So far, so good. Ah, ah, ah. Alright. I really hope I don't die here, because I'm going to have to go back to my old save and do all that again. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Another harsh fall. Right, okay, well, we're back in the stairwell. What do we do now? Well, we're not going back out. Okay, this isn't bricked up. Wait. Nor is that. Can I just get out of here? It's too good to be true, surely. Yes! I made it out. Hey. Shit! That's impossible! This can't be happening! Ah! <laughs> ah, the voice acting in this is exquisite. Well, it looks like Eva fried your brain after all. Oh? I'd best get out of here. 
before your stench fills the air. That's Matt's voice actor, isn't it? Oh, what is this? It's the same guy. Seems like someone has taken a walk through my laboratory. What oh. permission. You stay right here. <laughs> That's right. Dead people don't move. <laughs> Goddamn fool. Okay. <coughs> ah, ah, here I am. This is the area I was in where I died. Where is that fucking crackpot? Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. I have to get out of here. Yes, you do. But where is here, exactly? Right. What the hell? Who's that back there? Eva? I don't know if I can get in. What the fuck? Right. Ah, our first document from Doc! Right. Although my research depends mostly on my exceptional intellect, I'm grateful that she helped me make it possible for me to make it here. Without her money, this motel, and most importantly, without Eva, none of this would be possible. She sacrificed her own granddaughter. But I understand. All for the greater good. She did fucking what? So... I'm getting, like, Evil Within vibes here. Should I be? Two more documents over here. While I study how Oxide operates, I can observe Eva, the project's main processor. She has, I believe, in an attempt to wake up or as a kind of residual memory, created a metaverse where she can be lost for hours. I've used this to my advantage. In the interrogations, I let Eva take them as guests to this metaverse. There, their thoughts and memories are expressed as documents written by them. I can extract this information when these individuals recover it. Okay? The, the pro processor? Re this is kind of like the evil within then. Okay, right. Eva is Oxide's main processor. A compatible living organism must be used for this. I spent years looking until I found her. She doesn't know it, but she represents something very important. She represents evolution, and who knows? She could be the salvation or destruction of everyone and everything. <laughs> Fucking hell. I don't know if I like where the story's gone, honestly, but fair enough, fair enough. It looks like we've got a couple more documents over here. For 40 years, I've been working and experimenting with improvements to my own body. This work has, together with biotechnology, given me the chance to start Oxide. The first modifications I made to myself were only aimed at lengthening my existence. Lungs, kidneys, urethra, etc. But that was only the beginning. Now 30% of my being is modified, and I do not regret it. Okay. Here comes more exposition. Biotechnology is a branch of science responsible for technological applications that use biological systems and living organisms, or derivatives, to create or modify processes for specific uses. Organisms can be modified genetically. This enables the potential of complex organisms, like human beings, to be used. When combined with cutting-edge technology, the possibilities can be endless. My latest advances show that this is possible, and soon humanity will see the beginning of a new revolution that only I can understand. Wow, this guy sounds like he's full of himself. Okay, any more exposition? <laughs> this is where we're going to get all the dog's documents, right? Can we go through here? Okay, can't use that. I'm basically naked again, aren't I? Right, I, I guess I don't have... Right, yep, nothing in my inventory, because that wasn't exactly real, was it? That was all in her head. The fuck? And the map? Yeah, no map, of course. It's not the motel anymore. What is this place? How do I get out of here? Well, probably this way, right? Okay, over here? No? Seriously? You don't want to step over that? Fine. Alright. Can't access that door. Un okay, hang on. Are we going under? Okay, right. Oh, this is weird. Shit! Right. I told you not to move. Oh, there he is. Why doesn't anyone listen to me? <laughs> okay. I see you. Oh! I bet you will. Right. Oh, hang on. Oh, there's an axe on the floor. Hang on, hang on. Can I- I can't grab that? Revenge? Oh shit. Right, okay. Maybe. What we got here? 
This doesn't end here. If I don't get clear answers after interrogating the first individual, I'll interrogate the other two. It would be much easier to connect the cop to Oxide, but Eva rejects her for some reason that I can't figure out. So I'll connect Josh. And with the cop, I'll use older, less effective techniques with her. But they're just as brutal. Right. This guy's fucking useless, isn't he? Look at all this! What do we got here? Oh? You think you can escape? Oh, oh! I'll find you. Oh, finally. Peace and quiet. Okay. Right, well, let's continue reading, shall we? My research is what matters most. Others are only resources. Pieces placed for me to manipulate and research. Some believe they can control me, but that is because they can't see the big picture. When the time is right, everyone will be subjected to my will. Wow, all right. Those damn idiots are acting like kids. I never should have let them come here. But I needed test subjects and those girls. They were so lost and confused. Josh should have done a better job looking into who he was bringing here. They were supposed to be only prostitutes. No family or people to care if they go missing. Goddamn idiot. I think I'll enjoy watching him suffer. Right, okay. Here's another one. I have to find out what the undercover cop was investigating. Fucking Josh. If just one prostitute... I have to figure out if the girl was only investigating them, or if she was suspicious about the existence of Oxide. Shit. I'm risking everything for this. Okay, it looks like we got at least two more. Some call me crazy, others a narcissist. But when all this sees the light of day, everyone will see me for what I really am. A god. Bloody hell. The world will never be the same, and I will be the only one who will be able to control it. What is this place? How do I get it? <laughs> oh, it looks like we've arrived at a door, but first things first, let's just read all these documents. Ever since we found out that the idiot girl that Josh brought to the motel was really a cop, I haven't been able to do anything other than interrogate these two. I need to know what they found out and if it could be a threat to Oxide. What do they know about us? What do they know about the organization? Right, so how many people are working with this guy? Josh was bringing him people. Was it just those two? Was there a third, a fourth? That's ridiculous. I mean, this really was the exposition dump of the century, wasn't it? I don't think there's anything else, though. I think we've got a dozen eggs. Maybe that's why it showed up in that weird motel world? I don't know. Right. Okay. Matt has left Oxide. Matt has escaped from the motel. Okay. What do you want to know? I lost a test subject because of Eva, and they haven't had what you could call a good day. <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize. It's just that fucking bit. No, no. I won't talk about her again like that. I know that my life and research depend on you. Ugh. Don't worry, ma'am. This won't be a problem. I don't think he'll get out of the forest alive. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll handle everything. I won't fail you. Oh no, that is not how it ends, surely. I, I guess it is. That was Oxide Room 104, everyone. And that was the good ending, right? That was the proper ending? Because I, I didn't die during my playthrough, right? That... No. No. No, surely not. Okay, right, I've got some thoughts and feelings about this, and they're not terribly good, honestly. It started out so well, I really liked the premise, the way it looked, the interactivity. The sounds, the voice acting seemed pretty good, but then it gradually got more and more off-putting and he got a little bit more annoying as he kept repeating himself, but what was his name? Barry? He did the brunt of the English voice acting, playing both parts, and good on you, well done. But yeah. It started off pretty well with the puzzles as well. They seemed a little bit more in-depth at the end. It was just, everything was contained in this one little room, you just pick up item A, put it in place A, item B, put it in place B. You didn't really have to think about it, it was all very simple, and it was all very streamlined, and then... 
we get to what I suppose was the final boss fight, which was just a, a poor QTE, and then the exposition dump when you jump out of the tub. That stuff should have been given to us in the motel section. Maybe some of those documents could have been subtly hinted at or, or drip-fed to us. Maybe we see clues that the motel isn't what you think it is, or something of that description. Don't put 12 or 13 documents or whatever the fuck it was right in the end 10 minutes. That exposition dump was ridiculous, and it wasn't satisfying in any way, shape, or form to read all that information right at the end there. And then you just walk through the door and that's that? Did I miss a few keys in the motel as well? Because I think I only went into like half of the rooms and we didn't use the, the key that we got in the piano. Although that may have been for the padlock and I got through that another way. Uh, the gas mask. We got all these bandages and, and all the antidotes and stuff. And well, maybe there were more opportunities to poison myself or to make myself bleed that I didn't know about. But yeah, it seemed like there was a lot more to do that I didn't do. But I didn't need to, right? Let's talk about the punishment for making a mistake in this game. Let's talk about dying. Let's talk about how all of your progress disappears and you basically have to start the entire game again. That, to me, seems unnecessarily harsh and really quite cruel. Especially in the way that I died. I mean, maybe it's just because I died. I, I feel quite strongly about this, but I had no idea that there was going to be some sort of explosion when I fired my gun. There was no clue. There was on the front door, but the way I climbed in through the hatch and into the bathroom, that was just... that was just bad luck. And I am so glad that I backed up my save and I could go back to that, because getting to that point again, after getting my leg sword, I think I'd have lost motivation, honestly. I don't think I would have wanted to, to go through this game again. When you think about it, this game is actually really quite short. Especially for the price. The price was, I think, 22, 23 pounds. And I think if everything goes pretty smoothly and you don't die, you can get through it in like an hour and a half? Two hours, maybe? So maybe, maybe, you know, going back to the very beginning, reverting back to then and losing all your progress is a way to artificially lengthen the game? I don't know. But what I do know is that this game started well and it gradually went downhill. And that's a shame. If there is a sequel, I don't know if I'll be playing it. But thanks for watching everyone, leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video, and I hope to see you back in another playthrough, maybe a better one. See you then. No, Whoa. No, no. Was it the tentacles at the bottom of the ladder that were screaming there? Right. Oh shit. <laughs> what? Oh. I feel a small pinch. I somehow doubt that. Oh, yeah. I've lost all my inventory items. Wait, the storage? Everything's gone. Wow. Oh, oh, shit, right. Go through, go through. <laughs> I was spotted. I'm so glad I backed up my save, so thank you very much. This this is the importance of the comment section, really. Locked again. How do you know? Can you tell just by looking at a door? Well, that's probably going to kill me again, quite honestly. And to be honest, I don't want to get another body part sawed off of me. More bullets, right. Okay, there's definitely going to be some combat, right? I'm not going to blow up this time. There you go. Oh! I don't have anything that's really going to fit the bill. Would you like my revolver? In fact, no. Let's not give mannequins guns. You will suffer so much. And that's from evil. Because of course it is. Let's go and confront another one of these monsters and hopefully I don't blow up. Whoa, right, okay. <laughs> if it's a choice between escape and a toilet, obviously I'm going to choose the toilet. So, let's see. Uh, what is it now? Wait. Oh dear. Ooh. Sort of a dining room. Oh, come on. This is becoming a habit now. Yes! We've just made ourselves a Molotov cocktail! What's this? A jar full of honey. Well, it says marmalade, but I believe you. Uh -oh. Oh, hello. Is this not a QTE? Because it really feels like it should be. I made it out! Hey! Shit! That's impossible! Okay. Here comes more exposition. This guy's fucking useless, isn't he? Everyone will see me for what I really am. A god. Bloody hell. And they haven't had what you could call a good day. <laughs> <sighs> oh no. That is not how it ends, surely. 